Hello, boys and girls, preparing to receive the sacrament of first reconciliation, a first penance, or sometimes we call it first confession. This is one of the seven sacraments, and you have been preparing to receive it. Hello, too, to your parents who may be watching this little video with you. Receiving a sacrament is always something exciting, something special. It is something new. It's a way that Jesus comes to meet me. Now, with anything new, we can sometimes be a little bit nervous. But in receiving the sacrament of reconciliation, we don't want you to be nervous. We want you to be well prepared and really to relax. So it's important that you take some time to review what you've learned with your parents. It's important to take some time to think about what you want to tell God you're sorry for. What are your sins? Your parents can help you to think about this, reflect on this, and be prepared when you come for that first reconciliation. I'm standing in our reconciliation room, and this is one of the places that we'll use on that Saturday when we have the Sacrament of First Reconciliation. When you enter the room, you can either sit down in the chair or you can kneel down here before the screen and the priest will be right behind that screen. The priest will greet you with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And you will begin by saying, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. This is my first confession and these are my sins. And then you'll tell the priest your sins, what you're sorry for, what you know you've done that's wrong, that's hurt someone. He might ask a question to help you, to guide you. Then the priest will give you some advice. He'll say some words of encouragement. He'll give you a penance. The penance might be a few prayers that he'll ask you to say when you go back out to your pew in the church, or it might be something that you will do later. For example, he might ask you to do a small act of kindness for someone. Then you will recite the act of contrition. I know you've been learning that prayer, so keep practicing the act of contrition. The priest will then say a prayer of absolution, which means forgiveness. In that prayer, we receive forgiveness of our sins. And the very last part of that prayer says, I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The priest will then offer a prayer of dismissal for you you can say, thank you, Father, and then it's time for you to leave. So if you're kneeling, you stand up, go out the door. If you're sitting, you go out the door. And then when you come in, the door will be closed. Because as you know, your conversation, this time of the sacrament with the priest, is something that's very private, very privileged. The priest will not go and say anything of what you have said to anyone. It's really for God's ears alone to hear. Boys and girls, we're very happy because this sacrament is a way that Jesus loves us. He loves us so much he pours out the gift of forgiveness, the gift of mercy to us. So once again, don't be worried. Don't be afraid. If there's a part you forget, we will help you so that you can make your first reconciliation, your first penance, your first confession. So for now, I hope this little explanation has been helpful. Continue to review what you have learned. Practice the prayers. Do a little reviewing, maybe with your parents, of what you'd like to tell God that you're sorry for. We look forward to celebrating the sacrament with you, coming up very soon. For now, God bless.